champ is here. We will definitely not shut up and dribble. The champ is here. I must be the greatest. The champ is here. I'm going to continue to stand with the people. The champ is here. I will, I will not, not, not lose. lose. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you are here with we. My name is EJ, and I got my man. MH. Yes, he is the DB of the show, and we are black in sports, giving a voice to the culture that won't shut up and dribble. And here today, we're bringing you back inside the locker room, which is fitting. Um, it's fitting that our show opens up. The champ is here for today's topic. MH, you ready to do this? Yes, sir. All right, man. So the champ is here. And speaking of the champ, man, you know, uh, it's fight week, right? Um, you know, fight night is really named synonymous, like really when it got to Vegas, like that meant a whole different kind of scenario or thought process to a lot of people. Right. But when you hear fight night, you think about those just major, major matchups that's kind of happened and just really like exploded in the Vegas scene. And which made uh, Vegas kind of like the home of boxing, right? So it traditionally wasn't the home of boxing, which I did not know, right? Like for for the whole time I've known Vegas is traditionally, but as you can understand too, being a Knicks fan and knowing the the um, the Garden and, and all of its kind of uh, glory and things that it holds, um, New York used to be the home of boxing, man. Did you know that? I did, man. I learned some. Learn something new every day. Pops told me learn something new, so I just learned something. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Shout out to Pops always. Um, but, yeah, so, you know, Vegas has kind of really adapted and, and taken that tradition. And there's a, a lot of, you know, cool stories of how Vegas became that and why, uh, you know, um, it moved from New York and just kind of became synonymous here. But uh, does those gamblers and uh, being able right. to <laughs> lay large bets on the fight probably help that whole probably kind of thing? Probably a little bit and help build these casinos out here right so Mm -hmm. that model that they do about bringing the you know the the fight was the background to bring these gamblers in for for a great week so fight night means a lot of things to a lot of different people man so um we got a big one coming up right and it's funny you say it's a big one but like we talked about the beginning of the show um what what were your words (laughs) you're like oh i didn't know it was this weekend i mean I, i knew it was coming up i just I didn't know. And I am a, a simpleton and a casual when it comes to the uh, the sport of boxing. Uh, but I guess we'll get into reasons why that that, that may be. Absolutely, um, right. But, yeah, there's a big fight this weekend. It is one of the fights that I am, like, looking forward to just because I want to see. Just to say I saw. You know, it's one of those things like, oh, did, did you watch you it? Or you watch it? You get Yeah. Correct. I at least need to be in the conversation. <laughs> right. Uh, and black and sports, you know, we need to have some understanding of it. So uh, I think really, you know, we want to take a different direction. Well, let's first the the name of the right. So it's uh, Ryan Garcia versus uh, how you say his name? Oh, oh uh, yeah, Tank Davis. We, we call <laughs> Javante. Tank. I'm gonna call him Tank. <laughs> <laughs> so Tank Davis, right? So two, you know, undefeated fighters, and we'll get into all of that matchup kind of later in the show. But it's just really. You know, when we always think about topics, we always want to bring, you know, of course, we always talk the, the main lanes of, you know, those the, the mainstream sports. But we, we want to shine a light on boxing, but just even more so, like what's happened to the sport of boxing, right? Just kind of where did it go from even just, you know, I think we talked about in prepping for the show. It's like what we remember. And I just kind of want to, you know, start about start off, I guess, with first of all, um, just what could they have done better? Because it seems like to me, as a, one of the combat sports, it's it's you know fallen to the wayside or it doesn't have that much uh, thunder um, as far as your casual fans. You know, no disrespect to you know the people in the gym and you know it's it's a it's a sport business, so it's people right. still making a living and doing things like that. But it's kind of falling off, man. I mean, just in my eyes, I guess I won't speak for you. Yeah, I, I, I don't I, I don't know if I differ from your opinion. Um... You know, I, I think I guess some of the narrative behind why it's fallen off was you, you didn't you didn't get the the big fights or the you know the fights that everybody wanted to see. Um, outside looking in, I think the heavyweight division took some turns, and uh, I know that was a I guess from my childhood with Tyson and Evander Holyfield and Lennox Lewis, like some of the bigger names in the sport. We're in the heavyweight mm-hmm. division. You like seeing the, the big gladiator one. type you know, the bigger, the, the big, just physical knockout type, 
you know, folks in the heavyweight division, and that and took us some, had some lean years, um, just from fighters that you recognize, you know, on the day to day. Um, so I think that took a hit, uh, took a hit for sure. And uh, it, it's funny, I don't know, you know, Mike Tyson had his 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 own, you know, dealings and issues and in and out. Um, and, and, and while he is still feared, <laughs> hey, today. ninety year old man, um, he was gone for a little bit, and then when he came back, he wasn't the same. So I. You know, it's always nice to kind of pass the torch uh, to the next. And yeah, I, I don't know who really, who, if he had a proper passing of the torch. And I think it, it probably lost a little bit there. And then obviously Floyd had his own style and he's, he's taking it to another level and he's, you know, undefeated. But you could say, you know, he was a defensive fighter and uh, to the casual, you didn't know what he's really doing. So that's oh, where the, the sweet science comes in, right? Like right, that's where right. that's where the, the, the true boxer like, oh, well, Floyd's really good because, you know, boxing doesn't mean you need to take punches, which is right. a, a great point, right? So. Right. Yeah. And so, I mean, this is obviously not to the to the, the same degree as, uh, you know, Floyd and Manny Pacquiao, but similar to, you know, two of the, the, the best fighters in the, in the same weight class. Um, I guess that's why this fight is having the hype that it's having and we're all looking forward to it. Well, I man, I agree with every point you made. Like those are the and those are the mainstays which, that you hear, right? Like there's no heavyweights, right? Because that's what brings it. Um, you want to see knockouts. You want to see, you know, uh, just a different. Even, <laughs> even George Foreman coming back with his whole button, like just you know, there was just something behind seeing the heavyweights fight, right? And then I think a bigger thing that you you mentioned that sometimes kind of pass and Floyd dealt with this as well is them not fighting when they're supposed to fight, right? Mm -hmm. There's matchups that you want to see that just don't happen for whatever reason, right? Maybe it's money, maybe it's the promotion, you know, maybe it's strategic um, as far as these guys keeping their belts. And, you know, we even see this in this um, fight coming up, right? Like uh, you was kind of sharing me that uh, one of the fighters, you know, were removed or lost the belt because they didn't fight or, you know, and it was not from a dodging reason they you know there was other issues and complications but those right. are some of the things that you look at or or that you hear that are kind of uh the things or the reasons that this uh sport hasn't kind of continued its dominance you know when did it change in the sport and uh, i think i guess what else is intriguing about this is they're both undefeated like as we mentioned this this coming weekend but i know that's been a bigger thing uh in the boxing world is that undefeated record um, and I don't think that's always been like that. Um, you know, just from our yesterday, I remember, you know, you know, people were losing. They came back on top and all those type of things. Do you think that has something to do with, um, I guess the, I guess we can call it dodging of fights or whatever reasons fights don't get scheduled to maintain uh, that invincibility. Maybe it's that narrative, right? Because there will never be another Floyd, right? Like that's what people, that's the new emulation, right? Like before it was just the, the knockouts, right? So now that right. you don't have the heavyweight name, the 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 next mantra that you you listed was Floyd, right? And his narrative was going undefeated. So now who's going to kind of give you that undefeated, you know, prowess again? So I, it's interesting. It's interesting. Uh, yeah. And then they got a lot of, <laughs> they have a lot of different intercontinental champions. Don't do it. <laughs> Man, they got so many belts and <laughs> what I got the WEBC, the BDC, and the FF, you know, international, you know, uh, unified belt. Mean, like, come on, man. Like, y'all making up too many belts. I, mean, I still don't have that all down. <laughs> somebody explain to us. Somebody, uh, somebody reach out and hit us up and explain all up. the, the AFC the champions comments. and all that, too. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that part makes it complex. And and one of the things I guess I want to just, you know, just talking about like how things have changed from our generations were, or just other sports that we've seen take dominance, you know, they really took media, right? Like media is that component that took them to the next level. And I remember just kind of, you know, we'll get into this too, but like the premier boxing, you had to have, you know, those premium channels or you had to pay for them. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, But now you see a lot of, you know, we'll just stick with combat sports, right? Like develop the TV audience. So UFC, right? They created that tough, that uh, tough series, right? Where these guys were amateurs and battled for a contract. And though, even though only one of them got the contract, it got the fight in the UFC is a primetime event. 
um, you get to you got to learn who those fighters were. And now when you see them, I mean, that's kind of how I got hooked. Now that I see them, like, oh, I remember you were on, you know, tough season this season, that season, mm-hmm. you know, the third. And, you know, I mean, NBA, you know, they, uh, David Stern really pushes that, like when he started doing Inside Edition with uh, Ahmad Rashad and, you know, just kind of making the game more friendly and personable and for you to be able to connect with it and, like, grooming that younger audience, you know, that seems like that's, helped other sports to where you know i don't really remember or you know you can kind of maybe call me out or just if if there's something that you see different from um how boxing attempted to or was going to do that no that's interesting and i really wanted to lean on uh kind of your experience and what you see particularly with your experience with the ufc of what's the difference and what what have they done more successfully than maybe boxing has besides just you know, the fights and who's fighting and getting the fights that the people want. I always think like, I, I, you know, when it comes down to how people watch TV and who streams and what, mm-hmm. what outlets or what, uh, I mean, growing up, then they ain't too many of us that had HBO, right? <laughs> so our, our showtime. So most of the fights were pay-per-view on those two uh, kind of networks. And it was always like, who's getting the fight is, my cousin or your homeboy or Elder Ali or Elder Royston or we getting the fight like are we bootlegging so, it? Somebody yeah, knows. Yeah. <laughs> it was a bit not everybody was paying that, you know, $49.99 to get uh, that at the end of the cable bill. That wasn't uh, that wasn't <laughs> and now I I don't I mean maybe it is that way, but it seems like uh everybody gets it, right? Like right. <laughs> everybody's gonna get the fight individually or uh we'll go to somewhere else to eat. It's just uh I guess it's, it's also, I guess, a different way of how uh, we take in sports and how we uh, fellowship with each other um, as a culture, as a community, as just as people now, where it's a little different, I guess. Big you know time, I, mean? right? I don't know. No, no, no. I uh, wholeheartedly agree with that, right? So just kind of taking it back to, you know, what UFC did is like that tough, you know, uh, was, was great, right? So they did a couple seasons of that and, you know, they, you know, how they change it, right? So first it was just, the, you know, they did a couple of years of the men, but then there are different weight classes. So you understood the weight classes, right? Then they did the women, right? So then they did the women. And, you know, so they kept attempting to make it fresh. And, you know, it it, 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 uh, it worked for them, right? Um, I mean, to now they even do the Dana White Contender Series, right? So that's an, another kind of way where they do like fight of the night, knockouts and all that stuff. So this is like a pipeline of free content you know, where you don't have to go to those premium channels to get that. And a lot of those are streaming because, you know, they started off on Spike TV. So not a lot of people <laughs> remember Spike TV. Um, but I, I think that was one of the things that benefited them, along with, you know, other things like what the NFL has done. Um, just to kind of like carry on to that, what they attempted to do was for like, you um, the only big boxing show that I remember, and I think we talked about this, was a contender. So they had was five or seven seasons or something like that, but it was the same kind of process. And I mean, hell, Dana White and them could have gotten gotten from this, right? Yeah. Um, where they would have these, they did the East Coast boxers versus the West Coast boxers. And, you know, they had them compete throughout the show for a contract and things like that. And they had some pretty good names. So they had a real fighter and a fake fighter. Um, unless you're, you know, a Rocky fan, I probably shouldn't call him a fake fighter, but <laughs> Sylvester Stallone and um, and Sugar Ray were like the main host of this show. And they're just kind of giving the, commenta- uh, the commentary and like motivating and the coachings of that. And it was a dope show. Like I, I was watching it until it got a little crazy, like when season four or whatever, and Tony Danza became the host of the show. I kind of <laughs> kind of lost me a little so when reality that. TV became reality TV. That part. Yeah. I got you. So interesting, right? That, that's that's really interesting. And when you mentioned shows, I mean, the first show that comes to my mind is not dedicated to boxing whatsoever. Mm-hmm. But obviously, Martin was a part of the culture, and he was he was putting a combination on somebody every other episode. Or he was beating up raccoons. He was uh, <laughs> have combinations with and what's the uh, show? Tommy Hitman he Hearns when he, <laughs> he locked him all up. <laughs> When, when, when Hitman mm-hmm. Hearn swole him up, uh, and, and, you know, he, he had some content about how quick and how much he was paying for fights and how quick the fights were with Tyson mm-hmm. in his heyday uh, where he just felt like he was wasting money. So, I mean, honestly, when it came to boxing, 
uh, that that was kind of like my boxing show right. uh, from a TV perspective. And I mean, there's a lot of attempts, right? You even think about um, the games, the video games, right? That's another yeah. way that you kind of, um, you know, kind of groom your your future fans and stuff like that, right? Like yeah, uh, knockout uh, kings, game, man. Knockout kings. <laughs> and the cool thing about knockout kings was uh, it was a. Uh, it it was it was uh it was a mixing of all generations. It was the you know Kobe versus LeBron or LeBron versus Jordan all in a video game. You could have Ali versus Holyfield, knowing that would never happen, um uh, you know in real life. But you could have it on the video game and see what their styles were. Um, so that I think that's what made that unique. Uh, but when that went to GameCube, a marketing error there, and that was the it was a wrap after <laughs> <laughs> once PlayStation stopped running it and went to GameCube solely. It was yeah. dead end. Yeah, that's that's the that's the end of an era. And then of course, you know, we all grew up. Well, hopefully we all grew up on Mike Tyson's punch out, right? Like, you know, I still know the uh how you beat the hippo, <laughs> right, left, right, left, right, left. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you can still get it at Dave and Buster's. Uh, <laughs> you can still right? get, get get love on there. So it it wasn't for the attempts to kind of make it, you know, a cultural thing. And like, do you ever think that it was the whole that it's a violent sport thing. Like, I really don't remember much of that coming out, you know, because like football is having that attack, right? Like, and I don't ever remember really um, boxing kind of going through that phase. I maybe remember like, you know, you could bring, but I just don't remember like that being a, a big statement or big period during, you know, the whole boxing story. No, and I and I hate to still kind of stick on the heavyweight division because, uh, you know, Sugar Ray Leonard doesn't, from what I remember, he doesn't have this uh, effect, but I guess everybody's hero, Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali, you saw him as the vibrant personality and uh, full of life and a leader um, socially and all the above, right? Um, and then fast forward to maybe our generation where we saw Muhammad Ali and he wasn't able to speak and um, he was suffering through uh, some illness. So I don't know if you look at the top, I mean, if you can imagine Michael Jordan uh, not being able to walk now, I mean, I, I'm sure some people would look at basketball a little differently, right? I mean, Bill Russell just passed away. Like, that was a legend of the game in the NBA, and he was already to, like, our generation. All, you know what I mean? Although we didn't see him play, we, you know, he was able to see him. We were able to see Wilt Chamberlain as a, you know, a healthy individual moving forward. And um, I don't know if we had the same – opportunity with boxing because our legend our hero um you know if you're thinking about boxing i'm sure muhammad ali is in that first paragraph that you're mentioning uh he was different right um right. through through illness so I, I don't know if that had anything to do with it i would i would think psych psychologically it has something to do with it when it comes to just the violence of the sport 100 percent. so let's kind of talk about today's gimmicks right um just attempting there's things that I, I guess are not always bad for your sport, right? Like we joke about XFL and the USFL and, you know, any kind of spring ball. Right. Mm -hmm. But the fact that there's attempts to do that stuff, um, it, it sometimes helps the game. You, you find every blue moon, like a, like a blue chip or, or, or just some kind of story to follow that helps, you know, the main game. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a couple things, and the one that I remember was the the BK the BKB the bare knuckle bare knuckle brawls because they used to come to Manley Bay, okay, uh, and they used to have the um <laughs> the sign on the thing, and it was like a weird ring, right? So it's not even a ring; it was like a a little I don't know I don't want to call it an octagon, but it was not your traditional ring, okay? And it was you couldn't go outside the circle. It was like <laughs> one of them old Chinese thing, like two men enter one man leave type thing. Mm -hmm, but you know, mm -hmm. they did it to kind of like bring like some kind of excitement. Cause that's why people love UFC and loved heavyweight boxing. Cause it's knockouts. So right. if you don't have a glove on and someone catches you, <laughs> it's curtains, right? Yeah. It's um, just so, and I think that was a time or maybe even before, right? Like Kimbo slice, right? Like, we remember them videos that was – yes, that face that is exactly the face that you need to make. With the Kimbo start Spice. of the internet. <laughs> <laughs> he came on the internet by storm, okay, yeah. and got him a UFC contract just because this dude was out there. He kind of reminds me of that fitness dude that be walking in and be, like, <laughs> chasing people when they be eating and yeah. they're just knocking folks out, man. Yeah. YouTube owes Kimbo Slice. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> 
and his family. A lot right? of traction, like, boy. Jeez. Big time. Yeah. He was world star before world star, right? Just definitely. <laughs> definitely. Rest, RIP, Kim. RIP. But it, it, it's things like that. And there was one that, uh, what was the other one that we were looking at? But um, there's just kind of like those things that just like pay homage. Then now you get into, I don't, I guess I shouldn't call them gimmicks, but I am <laughs> for lack I mean, of a better word. Um, these, these uh, YouTube guys, I mean, we were talking about YouTube, right? Like what are the Paul brothers, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, they changed the game as far as these boxing matches where they're, <laughs> where they're beating up our culture, man. Like <laughs> we need they to rob, man. Like, that's cool. I mean, well, shit, he even did Tyrone Woodley, man. Like, that was... He did. He did. And then now the videos that they make of him him laying people out. But those are, like, those gimmicks that they do. And then, you know, he even got Floyd into it, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That but might that, have been the... Uh, what, now what's your thoughts about that? You know what I mean? That's that's Michael Jordan playing one-on-one with uh, me. I, you know what I mean? Our LeVar Ball. Like, <laughs> is well, it that really was, worth that? That goes into the staging, right, of boxing, right? Like, we go in here with agreement, you know, you don't try to show off. You don't mm-hmm. make this money because they the, the pay-per-view that they made off of that. And then, like, it goes back into the hyping, right? So long gone are the days of hyping fights, right? There's no one that hyped to fight anymore like your boy, the uh, the American Dream. What's his name? Uh, <laughs> Don King, Don baby. King, baby. <laughs> Yeah, only in America, baby. Yeah, only in America. God. So those are, you know, what, and I mean, we talked about the greatest, you know, Muhammad Ali, right? Like he hyped those fights, and you know, when you see the story of them, um, they showed that they actually had a relationship, or they had to kind of talk to each other when they were in, you know, certain situations. So I, I think that's part of the boxing that people really don't talk about, the art of the show. Mm. And I believe, I mean hell this fight that we're you know coming up on they did a little bit of that on social media right like mm-hmm. you saw the ig where they were kind of like oh you know i'll knock you out you want to put money on it and now they supposedly have the bet that you know whoever wins gives the other person a full purse like w- w- winner takes all please stop. Yeah. get the fuck out like <laughs> nobody believes that nobody believes that nobody <laughs> Well, Let me ask you this too about the sport, and we'll, okay. I'm, I'm, you know, I take people off subjects. But that's what we do. That's what you do. I should that's say that's exactly do it. what I do. Uh, <laughs> we we talk about, uh, and I'm super interested in this because you're involved in the UFC and the the style fight. Obviously, the UFC, from what I hear, I I, I don't know as much as anybody as some other people, but incorporates multiple styles of fighting. You know. You get your little, you know, your wrestling background, jiu-jitsu and karate, muay thai, yeah. all just all Boxing, different. Correct. Kimbo, like whatever style Kimbo. he had. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all mixed in like one. And mixed obviously boxing is art. boxing. So what, what do you think that has something to do with it as well? Inclusion. That's DEI. a great point. <laughs> DEI. That <laughs> UFC's probably gonna love hearing that they're the DEI sport. <laughs> That, that is a, a a sentence or statement that's probably never been said before. Never, probably never. Never, never again. Ever. Um, although, but yes, right? Because it is a mixture of multiple disciplines and it shows that um, you know, you talk about um, you know, uh, Sean Shelby and just the other like fight matchers, is like they talk about a good f- fight match, right? And we'll get into just kind of how these two guys match up. And they talk about the different styles where, like, oh, you know, he's a you know, he's got the ground and pound, he's a grappler, he's a, you know, he's gonna want to stand up, he's gonna want to take it to the ground. And you know, they talk about how that makes a fight, and then the other person has to adjust to that, right? Like, mm-hmm. okay, I know he's going to be looking for me to you know, because of my wrestling background, take it to the ground. Let me show you about what these hands are about, right? Um, The mixed martial art component does allow people to enter it. And then as they grow their career, they have to add those other skills based on who they're fighting and matching. And I think that's that discipline where it's like, you know, it's not like you can go into football and be like, well, you know, I can catch, you know, but my running skills ain't that good. You don't have that adjustment period. You'd have to come in (laughs) with the full skills to where, um, you know, DC, um, Daniel Cormier was a, you know, all American wrestler, you know, collegiate wrestler, like skilled wrestler, you know, but he had to go through all of these different levels and changes to become 
a full MMA art, um, you know, um, athlete. So I think that does lower the bar of entry. You can come yeah. in with a discipline and then, you know, learn the rest of the stuff and you get into these gyms. And when you join these gyms, right, you're like, okay, you're sparring with different people that have different skill sets to kind of, you know, elevate your game. But I, I definitely think that helps. And I just think that um, it's the new, the new hot thing, right? Like boxing was kind of out of, I think culturally it was just out of what we had access to, right? Mm-hmm. And you just needed, you know, you see all these movies, you see all these old ratted and tatted boxing gyms, and it was just something to keep people off the streets, right? right. Like Customato saved Tyson's life. He'll tell you that all the time. Who's bullying he, Tyson, by the way? I, 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 I don't believe you see 13 year old pictures of Tyson. I need to know who's bullying him. Maybe it was uh, what was her name? Um, off of uh, Friday, she do hair and nails and everything <laughs> else. <laughs> maybe she was maybe D. maybe D. Maybe it was baby D. Because <laughs> like I, I like I agree. I do not know who's bullying Tyson, but um, I I think that would be my quick summation. Like why I would think you know those those things are happening, and it's it's just a new, it's taking off, man. Like people can change their whole perspective and their lifestyle kind of like what boxing gave the ability to do right mm-hmm. all right quick one for you okay. best boxing movie and it's funny because we did a little bit of best sports movie before which mm-hmm. you which you won you won that because you, you you killed the I, I did some um Ill, ill-gotten picks but what is like maybe one or two of your favorite boxing movies then we're gonna move on uh you know I, I liked Hurricane Car. I'm not gonna say this is in no order. I did like it, uh, Denzel with the Baldy. Um, so I, I did, I did appreciate uh, that movie. And Denzel elevates anything. And obviously, we 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 can't call bo- boxing movies without the Rocky series. And then obviously, it's progressed to to Creed. So uh, is it was, Creed now, or is it just Rocky Black? Like because like that. Uh-huh. Because, I mean, it's just a genesis, man. You really didn't come up with anything different. You just kind of like, yo, I'm going to still. It's damn near the Fast and Furious franchise where y'all are just doing too goddamn much. Like, I saw <laughs> the Fast and Furious 10 about to come out, and the white boy done died about about 10, ep- like five episodes of uh, shows ago. But I, I don't I don't think you could call Creed its own thing yet. I don't know. That's just that's just my perspective. It's Rocky. No, it's part of, it's part of the, okay. the, the, the Rocky series, right? Are okay. you saying it's like the Black, Black Rocky, like now it's like Rocky – eight it's it's almost I th- yes i think it's like rocky eight you know what i mean the continuation sure. or it's damn near like what the, uh <laughs> what do the wayans brothers do to like the spinoffs of, of like they did scream or scary movie <laughs> oh man don't come what, on don't do them like that okay no okay. don't don't uh <laughs> White girls, nigga, like all yeah, of that. The, the, the menace of society. Uh, society so don't be a menace while drinking your juice in the hood, homie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do them like that. No. Don't do Michael B. Jordan like that. Okay. No, but you know what? What's with uh? What's Rocky? I think it was Rocky. Think maybe four. Me. I think it had to be Rocky four. When he what? I think that's Ivan Draco. I think that's I think that's Rocky four. Yeah, I'll break yeah. you. Yeah, that's four. Yeah. Because three was Clubber Lane, right? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. T. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Carl Withers, uh, the former Whaler. Uh former Weathers, Raider. My bad. My bad. Uh that was it Rocky Two where he put the Jets on uh in that on that beach on, the, on the or Rocky beach? Three? <laughs> no, it was four. No, it was, was four, it four where he put the that, that four two forty on him on that beach and they used to stop <laughs> acting. <laughs> I told, they weren't acting I, no more. And they weren't acting. He was just letting them know before he was like, listen, I know we playing Rocky, but I'm actually Axon Jackson. <laughs> you remember him, Axon Jackson, the other movie? All right, we done going way <laughs> off. Way off. Okay. See, you pull you, you strung me along on that one. All right. <laughs> Back to it. Shout out to Ali, another great boxing movie. And then just for shits and giggles. Oh, uh, um, no, nah, man. The great, the boy, great white. That ain't a great movie, bro. You don't like that one? I don't like him. Ah, uh, smack, you know smacking, that. smacking Jones. All right, man. We'll, we'll, Sorry. We'll, we'll move on then. All right, man. So, what do you got? Who do you got in this matchup, man? Let's talk about the two fires, Ryder, um, Ryan, and Tank. Yeah, I'm probably going to go with from from what I know of of them, and I have seen them a couple times separately. But I would probably say Tank, uh, just because there's something about uh, raw raw power, and I've seen Ryan Garcia. Uh, get hit in his chin and 
<laughs> it fold, huh? <laughs> it folds. So I've actually seen that. Uh, and I think Tank has more experience against uh, top tier fighters than what Ryan Garcia has. Mm -hmm. um, so has I would more, probably say Tank has more fights, right? So it's what, 28 to 23? 23. Yep. Yep. Um, so I, I, I would I would probably say Tank for sure, for sure. Tank got a little bit of uh just like that uh that extra tick. I mean, obviously you you boxing, so I'm sure Ryan does too. Mm -hmm. But you know, I feel <laughs> Ryan has a uh, Tank has a little more like whoa 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 what was whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> come on down you them calm down pills as Melo will call them like oh calm down so I feel like Tank got a little bit more of that so uh yeah I was I was like tanking this what, what what you think that rhyme with Tank man and just you know black and sports root for everybody that's black I mean, we kind of got I mean I'm not gonna say that <laughs> but well I mean after uh Tyson yeah. Fury knocked out knocked out Wilder man like we we, we need something man <laughs> I was cool man he he knocked out my boy my 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 college quarterback uh <laughs> So I wasn't too fond of, of him <laughs> anyway. Um, but we'll be back. There it is. All right, man. So are you getting the fight? That's the kind of the, – we'll, we'll end with that, man. Are you getting the fight? I am, bro. You know, I, at this point in my life, I think this is like the next, like, level to me being an adult. It's like, yeah, yeah, I'm getting the fight. Like, I haven't had that – you know, I, I've been married. I got a kid. I haven't said, like, yeah, I got, I'm getting the fight. I'm getting like, the fight. I, I get a little, little more hair though, on my man. chest. You see why with this mustache, What's like so I, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to be on my grown man stuff. Like, yeah, I'm getting the fight. Yeah, yeah, you know, hey, you know, go get the fight. But it's it, it will it have the same feel though, right? Like so before, you know, you got it right now. You can pay for the little pay per view right now, yeah. and you know, it's a little different. And <laughs> if gotta... I go to sleep during the undercard and somebody had to wake me up by the time they get on, then I know I really made it in life. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up man you gonna get them wings man oh you know <laughs> you know Bob, i gotta get them Bob, wings, get them wings the man. <laughs> <laughs> i love it no man but uh it's good to have a big fight weekend you know uh especially in boxing um you know it's definitely for our culture right that's really what brought up you know black and brown right um all the greats you know that you that you know that's come up in the sport you know, I've definitely been of and from the culture. So anything that just kind of brings that kind of energy to Las Vegas, you know, we're all healing and, and looking to get back um, to, to what it was before. So it'd be interesting to see um, the hear what's going on in the city because your boy is uh, trying to stay away from Don't all lay, that. Lay low, huh? Lay, I'm laying low this weekend, man. I, <laughs> I'm at the hard pass on this one. Catch me on the next one. Now, let me ask you this. Is there going to be a... You know, a, a Ryan Garcia, Tank Davis, too. That, that seems to be the next thing. Like, you already got to get the rematch going. You, no matter who wins, it has that. to be. Yeah. It has to be. Because they don't have – what else – you know, what else are you looking for, right? And mm -hmm. I think they're almost hyping this as, like, the mega bout and the mega fight and, you know, like, one, each of these guys could drop each other, but mm -hmm. it, that's not going to happen, right? Like, they're going to both be protecting – like – well, you hope they don't, but I just think they're both going to be protecting and undefeated and get back to the, you know, the sweet science of boxing. Um, oh, so you, you like split decision and it's on the judges and whatever the case is. That's what you're yeah. feeling? I'm, I'm not seeing nobody take anybody out like first oh, round. Right? I, okay. I, I don't see. I mean, I, I mean, I hope Tank brings that aggression. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, it, it's a good talk, a good game, but no one, that's the thing about fighting, right? So we, even though we, you know, riding for, for Tank, just like I've seen in, UFC and just other boxing, man. It only takes one. <laughs> you you get caught by the wrong one doing you know doing the most. It could be <laughs> it could be night night. Night. good good Come night, night, night. night. <laughs> uh, What what makes it what what about boxing or not necessarily just boxing but just combat sports in general makes everybody expert on what, how to get it done? Because I, I guarantee oh. I don't know. I, I've been in a, a, a few That's fights cool. in my life, not a lot. Right, but I guarantee I'm gonna be standing up if I'm awake. Uh and I won't be oh, hey, no get it, please, hey, please, 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 please. inside. <laughs> he should have you're not moving no, his no. head. Look, hey, look, he, he, he flat footed. <laughs> <laughs> if you get inside him, you gotta work your jab. <laughs> You don't know, sit down. You don't know, you forgot the jab. Yeah, that, that's, <laughs> no matter what fight, no matter who you watching the fight with, 
there's going to be some commentary where everybody just knows what to do and be the first one to get knocked the hell out. <laughs> you don't sit your ass down. Get, get in sight. Work your jab. Come on, Tank. Work the jab. <laughs> No matter where you watch the fight, so all of y'all that's listening, when y'all watch the fight, y'all gonna be like, "Oh, there they go." Yeah, <laughs> and it may down, be you. And it may be you. <laughs> <laughs> it is you. Sit down. We trying to watch. You don't know what you're doing. You standing up, shadow boxing, and you know <laughs> you gotta work the corner, man. You gotta work the corner. You know, get them on the ropes. I'm like, oh man, if you'll sit your ass down, move. <laughs> your head still move. <laughs> uh, pass me them chips, man. <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> I love it, man. That's funny. Anything else for the people, MH? Oh, nah, man, that's funny. Oh, man. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the show, man. Please, any information y'all can share on boxing, man. We just definitely want to touch it and give it love. Um, you know, it should be some should be very energetic. Uh, so we're looking to see what the outcome of the fight is. Um, but just remember, we drop a new show um, every Thursday. So we want to thank you uh, uh, for listening. We hope you enjoy listening to this show. Um, and uh, we'll see what the prediction is. Um, Please stay safe, practice gratitude, and know we're rooting for you. Screaming, all us blacks got a sports and entertainment until we even. Assuming you're rooting for everybody that's black. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Assuming I'm rooting for everybody that's black. Yeah. 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 Look. Yeah. Show me I'm rooting for everybody that's black Smack about two racks on handmade new racks Show me I'm rooting for everybody that's black That's everybody from sports to college class to rap and back.